So the rules don't apply to me. We're actually going to start with a preview of the video we're going to talk about. So. Here we go. Uh, start. Oh. when this guy here, Jim Brandon, said, hey, our company ought to uh, film a video. Uh, in November, we were at the uh, opening for the Conrad Schools of Science. I wrote the worst script ever seen. Uh, I mean, it was terrible. Two guys in a lab coat going, uh, what's this? I don't know, maybe we should psychograph it. Fortunately, Chris Stout is an absolute genius. He said, you know what? Let's do this whole takeoff on Monty Python, She's a Witch thing. I said, hey, that sounds pretty good. He actually laid out the whole thing in two minutes just right off the top of his head. We're in the conversation, he goes, this is what we need to do. So I had to check with my boss, Stephen Miles, who's sitting right over there. And Stephen looked at me and said, um, well, yeah, but we, we're kind of busy this month. Uh, I said, oh, but we can do it. He said, sure, we can do it. So great, we had the green light from the boss, we were gonna go ahead and do it. We had auditions, incredible actresses from up and down the East Coast, I'm talking New York to DC, all came out to try out for this. This was a great experience. These, all of these women were incredibly talented, but we finally went with Stacy uh, Shetland up there on the right. Um, then we need a location. Thank goodness Charlie Copeland hooked us up with Rick Lewandowski, who is the executive director for the Mount Cuba Center. If you've never been to the Mount Cuba Center, you don't know what you're missing. This place is beautiful. It is paradise. It is incredible. This is us going out and checking everything out. And the whole time they're saying, what else can we do for you? What else can, well, we might need to show up at four o'clock in the morning to get started. Okay, here's the keys and here's the passcodes. Wow, just an incredible group to work with. They said, oh, you need our walkie-talkies? Here you go. You need security? There you go. So on June 21st, 2008, uh, sunrise, 5.34 a.m. sunset, 8.33 p.m., we were filming the entire time from the first rays of sun coming up to the last rays of sun going down. Uh, Gina here handled all the costuming, over 50 costumes should be a very expensive thing. She took one look at the script and said, you know what, free of charge. She hooked us up with all the costumes. So, and by the way, that's my daughter there, my son there. There's a little bit of nepotism in the ball for this, but um, these two ladies here, they were gardeners with uh, Mount Cuba Center. They said, we want to be part of it. We said, great, try out. They tried out, they were great. Tom Wagner, state auditor. Jim Jones with uh, DMEP there. Uh, an incredible crew. There was a lot of people who showed up thinking, oh, this is going to be like a bunch of people running around with little camcorders and flips and stuff. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, the red camera, the same thing that Peter Jackson uses to film all his stuff. Uh, this was just an awesome crew, set up all day. Uh, again, Chris Stout, brilliant writer, director, incredible guy. 
Uh, and, and, and this, all of this that was filmed in one day ought to have been filmed in like three or four for, for anybody who knows uh, those filming, but he was able to do it one day. Uh, Jim Jones, the guy there playing Baldrick, absolutely incredible, just a fun guy. He works for the Delaware Manufacturing Extension Program. I guess it, other than our actress, nobody else was paid at all. We had over 50 volunteers come out, including Congressman Mike Castle, including Rick Jensen. Uh, and we had ducks! To this day, I still don't know how we got ducks. Why ducks? Ducks are good. Um, and, 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 and we had uh, Alok, who, who should have been here today, but he was, he was there uh, helping us out there. Uh, Rebecca Faber from the World Trade Center. We had family members, we had friends. Look at Rick down there at the bottom. Does he just look goofy or what? And no animals were actually harmed at, well, um, almost no animals were harmed in the filming of this video. That wasn't the doc, uh, just, just, just so you know. All right, so what came out of this? Let's see, we did, we did a big, uh, what, what you saw here was shown at the Blue Rocks. It was pretty awesome. Uh, so far, this thing has been posted on blogs and websites in about 115 different countries, featured uh, all over the world, uh, magazines, trade publications, newspapers, a lot of various uh, comments that we've gotten from, and, and, and yes, you know, Professor Honeydew is, is a legitimate news source, I just want you to know, he's a, he's a good critic. But everybody in the science community just saw this thing and went, yes, this is so much fun. Since then, since then, because I sat there and said, we could make this, with people like Rick Jensen and a duck, uh, we started a, a, a group to help people uh, uh, looking for jobs. We had the Newark Freeze. Five, uh, 200 people came up and showed up for that. Uh, let's help people who are uh, homeless, homeless families. Sure, we can do that. How about opening a coffee shop downtown Wilmington? Yes, we can. How about going up to Philadelphia, taking over the social media scene there? Sure, why not? How about mapping things out for the Be Here campaign? That's right, right here in Wilmington. So out of this one film, I realized that there are infinite possibilities. Nobody can tell me no. It just doesn't happen. I made a video with Rick Jensen, Congressman Castle, Tom Wagner, and a duck. There is nothing that we can't do.